Welcome to the wondrous world of Taiwanese night markets, everybody. If you want to see some top-notch Taiwanese foods in Taipei, you've come to the right place. So I was cruising and perusing around the Xilin night market in Taipei, Taiwan. I was a tad on the hungry side, so I started scoping out the joint. Lucky for me, it didn't take long to find some serious food stand action. Here we got a corn cob maestro cooking himself some nice corn cobs. It's so, whoa, 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 hold the phone. It looks like that corn cob's on fire. That's pretty buck wild. What else we got here? We got a stand that says Fish Balls Bro. There ain't no better bro than a fish balls bro, that's what I always say. And man oh man, I've seen a lot of fish balls in my day, but even for me it's obvious to see that right there is a nice set of fish balls. And what in the wide wide world of sports is this? We got some passion fruit cheese oysters? Sounds like a classic food combo right there, and wow, just wow, take a look at that maestro char grilling that oyster. Looks to me like he's showing that mofo who's boss. Anyway, after scoping out the place, I found something more my speed. Here we got some deep fried stinky tofu on deck. This is more of a bare bones back to the basics food situation, which is exactly what I was craving at that moment. I mean, hey, sometimes you're in a tofu mood and sometimes you're in a fishball mood. It's all up to you, baby cakes. Anyway, as you can see, I got myself a plate of this tofu and it's looking simple to the max yet elegant as fuck. Now what I'm wondering is, is this the tofu to end all tofu? Let's take a bite and find out. So I slammed that single piece of tofu down the hatch so fast I started to cause a commotion in the place. I got one taste of that tofu, just one taste, and I damn near lost my mind. That tofu was soft on the inside and slightly harder on the outside. We have a sauce at the bottom of the plate that's just a tad salty and we got some pickled cabbage at the top. Add to that the fact that we got some red chili sauce over here and I'd say we have the recipe for success. Now the taste of that rustic tofu must have awakened some kind of animalistic urge inside me because I started slamming a whole lot of chili sauce on there. I've got to kick my life up a notch, you know what I'm saying? So I spread that huge wad of chili sauce all over my tofu all nice and careful like. And then I savagely slammed that tofu down the hatch like a hunger crazed cannibal on crack. Anyway, it didn't take long before I showed that plate of tofu who's boss, so I decided to see what other foods they got around here. And what's this? What the heck is this? This maestro's got some kind of system here and whoa, 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 what was that? Suffice to say, shit's getting pretty Taiwanese around here. Case in point, we got some frog eggs on deck, which seems pretty nice, but I think I'm gonna have to give that one a pass. What else we got here? Looks like we got some quail eggy wig action going down. This maestro's cracking a bunch of quail eggs into some slots and letting those puppies sizzle away. Welp, I do like me some eggy wigs, so I think I'm gonna have to give this one a whirl. So the maestro shot off some sauce onto that eggy wig stick and then she started sprinkling some spices on there. It seemed pretty legit. So I grabbed that quail eggy wig stick with a wild ferocity the likes of which are rarely seen. I admired those eggy wigs for but a moment then I bit down on that stick like a wild barbarian. Now truth be told, they were tasting a little bit peppery and a little bit sweet, but overall they did not change my life. So I started scouring around the place again with the intense desire to feed my face. And holy Chiang Kai Shek, what in the world is that? Looks to me like we got some Taiwanese beef noodle soup in this mother. I figured I was worth it, so I got me one of these bad boys and as you can see, it's piping hot. Reason being because this thing is permaheated with its own portable flame. 
That's a pretty nice idea if you ask me. Anyway, I got myself some peanut barbecue sauce and some boiled white rice on the side here. So I grabbed myself a chunk of that beef and gave it a nice dip. Then after I got myself a little dab of peanut barbecue sauce, I jammed that beef in the general direction of my head. And oh my dogs, that beef was tasting soft as hell, succulent to the max, and spicy as fuck. I'll tell ya, they're not messing around with this bowl. They got all kinds of flavors popping off in this bad boy. All different kinds. So I loaded down the spoonful with some rice, a little bit of broth, a piece of cabbage, a piece of chili, and hell, I even threw a soybean into the mix. Needless to say, the precise nanosecond that I bit down on that spoonful, I felt like I had transcended space and time. Now they did also have some pig's blood cake in this soup, which I wasn't too excited about, but I figured I'd give it a try. So I dipped that pig's blood cake into the sauce, then I jammed it into my mouth, took myself a bite, and wow. This thing has kind of a strange texture, it's like biting into a rubbery sponge or something. I took myself another bite, but truth be told, I wasn't feeling the whole pig's blood cake thing, so I decided to toss that bad boy back into the soup. Next, I started working on the noodle situation. I grabbed some huge ass wads of noodles and started chowing down on those bad boys at a feverish pace. They were tasting mighty fine, but what really stole the show was this puppy. I couldn't tell if this thing was some sort of tofu or fried glutinous rice flour cake, but whatever it happened to be, it was tasting starchy and sweet and good enough to eat. It tasted like pure, unadulterated calories, which at the end of the day is all you can really ask for in life. Anyway, I poshed off just about everything in that bowl except for the pig's blood cakes, so I decided to boost on out of that restaurant. I was hunting down some more foods when I realized there was a temple in our midst. And whoa, baby, I'm feeling a tad confused over here. I don't know if I should feed my face or get in touch with my spirituality. I mean, hey, people outside this temple are literally chowing down right on the steps. It seems like they're feeding their face and getting in touch with their spirituality at the same fucking time. That's some pretty nice multitasking right there. Some decent multitasking. So I started prowling around those mean streets again, going on the hunt for some nice Taiwanese food. I came across this maestro cutting up a huge ass piece of sweet bread over here. Damn, that thing is bigger than my head. I think you'd be able to feed a small village with that thing, which is exactly what I expect them to do. What else we got around here? We got us a young Taiwanese family and they seem to be enjoying themselves. And what's this? We got us a big cock pineapple cake. Nice. I can see they're keeping it nice and family friendly in this bitch. Anyway, about this time I saw a sign for a food court downstairs, so I figured I'd give that a go. I started sprinting down those steps with a wild sense of anticipation. And the exact moment that I busted into that food court, I realized that things went from mild to buck wild. This place is jam-packed with ravenous throngs of people and crazy-ass foods on deck. In fact, I'm not even 100% sure what they're cooking up here, so let's take ourselves a look. We got us some chicken skin, we got us some chicken butts. Hell, we even got some chicken gizzards and some chicken hearts in the house. What else do we got? We got some blue shrimp chillaxing inside an aquarium, and I think they're just begging to be eaten. In fact, I could have sworn one of those shrimp just winked at me. What's next? This thing says famous snack in Shirin. Small cake wrapped in a large cake. Damn, why didn't I think of that? That's a nice fucking idea right there, so I decided I best be getting me one of those. So I chose me the crispy sesame version, and then the cake inside the cake maestro started making that mofo. He sprinkled a shitload of sesame into there just the way I like it. Next, he wrapped up that bad boy tortilla style. Now I got to admit, when I read the sign that said cake inside a cake, this is most definitely not what I had in mind. Nevertheless, I was optimistic, so I furiously bit into that cake inside a cake and whoa, baby. 
This thing tastes like some rice crackers wrapped inside a tortilla. I mean, the sesame tastes nice, I just wish there was something else inside there so it wasn't so dry. Is that too much to ask? Bottom line is it did not improve my life and it may in fact have detracted from it, so I decided to toss that bad boy into the garbage. Anyway, I was feeling pretty full at that point, so I decided to hightail it the hell out of that night market. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see what I was eating earlier in the day, then you best be checking out my Taipei Day Tour video. It's filled with a whole lot of top-notch Taiwanese foods, and I got that link in the description box. And hell, while you're at it, you might as well check out some retro solo travel blog Taipei videos as well. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.